One of the things that I love about game consoles, particularly retro game consoles, is their unique design. Not only on the outside, but also in the very menus of the console itself. Systems like the Nintendo GameCube, the original Xbox, the PlayStation and PlayStation 2, the Nintendo Wii, they all have this charm and creativity behind them that make them distinct from one another. Consoles like the Xbox and PlayStation have always went for this sort of futuristic, technological, almost alien sort of design, while Nintendo always brings this unique quirkiness and charm to their menus. But unfortunately, from about the time of the Xbox 360 and onward, game console menus have become kind of boring. While they're very cleanly laid out and super responsive, they just don't have the same amount of charm in them anymore. And they all kind of feel the same. There are little fun details here and there, but generally it seems like every game console is just trying to lay out this sort of corporate feel. I do really miss the styles of menus that we saw in the older game consoles, and that's exactly what I'd like to talk about today. The various secrets and fun facts about some of our favorite video game consoles user interfaces. Number 1. The GameCube's Secret Menu Song As you flip through the cubicle menus of the Nintendo GameCube, you are treated to some very relaxing and peaceful ambient music. This music doesn't appear to have any particular melody, but it's rather just pure ambience. Or so we thought. You see, back in 1986, Nintendo released the Famicom Disk System, and when you booted up this console, you were greeted with this lovely little tune. Well, it turns out that if you take the ambient music from the Nintendo GameCube and speed it up about 16 times, you will get this. An incredibly clever musical secret referencing one of Nintendo's classic systems. Number 2. The PS2's Red Screen of Death with a name like that, this one must be pretty creepy. And for many children who played Sony's PlayStation 2, including myself, this little feature was indeed pretty creepy. If you pop in an unreadable disc into the console, whether it be a game for another console or just a game that's so scratched up that it's impossible to read, the PlayStation 2 will not start as it normally does, but rather, will take quite a creepy detour. Something about this red screen with that unnerving sound followed by an eerily quiet crash of ocean waves is just unsettling. It made you hope and pray that that old scratchy PlayStation game that you put in your console would read okay. Otherwise, we were subjected to the red screen of death. Number 3. Personified Fear and Fearful Harmonies These are two different errors that can occur on the PlayStation 1. Personified Fear is very similar to the PlayStation 2's red screen of death. If you insert an unreadable PlayStation 1 game, you will be met with a similar fate. The startup screen will show as normal, and then this horrible sound hits you, and the screen just turns black, and then nothing. It makes you wonder what even happened. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be staring into that silent black void any longer. Then there's Fearful Harmony, 
which can also occur if you insert an unreadable disk. In this case, the logo starts as normal, and then as it fades to black, will completely glitch out. And that's it. You're just left with this glitchy screen and silence. But if you wait around for several minutes, you start to hear something. This creepy repeating chime that seems to get faster. It keeps building up and building up until it just ends, echoing into the void. And again, you're left asking yourself, what on earth just happened? It's amazing how accidentally unsettling these glitches can be. Number four, secret GameCube startups. Okay, this one's a lot more fun than the last two. We all know the classic GameCube startup sound. But did you know that you could actually change this? If you plug in your controller to the player one port of the GameCube, and hold down the Z button just as you're powering it on, the GameCube startup will be different. There's another one too. If you plug in all four controllers and hold the Z button down on all of them at the same time, just before the GameCube starts up, then it will make this sound. It's such a fun little detail that I'm sure many people didn't even know existed. Number 5. The original Xbox's creepy audio. It's no secret that the style of the original Xbox is definitely very futuristic and alien-like, with its green color scheme and high-tech looking dashboard. This alien-like atmosphere is further added to by the ambient sounds that you hear as you're scrolling through the menus. But some people discovered that if you leave the system on and idling on the system menus, you start to hear some various creepy sounds. Here's a few of them. I would not want to be playing my Xbox in the middle of the night and hear that. Is the Xbox haunted or something? Well, this actually was intentional. According to Larry Herb at Microsoft, they used some of NASA's public domain audio from the Apollo transmissions to further add to the alien-like feel. And boy did it work, as well as give many people nightmares. So those are some fun facts and secrets from some of our favorite video game consoles. If you have any other video game related secrets or topics that you'd like me to talk about, let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I want to give a big thank you to each and every one of my patrons for making this video possible. If you want to help support the channel, visit patreon.com slash Aaron Carruthers for more information. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.